School teacher Tatyana Ivanova fled Crimea for Kiev shortly after Russia's invasion of the peninsula in 2014. Since then, she's been building a collection of memorabilia and making small handmade items to remind her of her native city, Kerch. You cannot imagine the joy it brings me. One man brought me seawater with seaweed from Crimea, and I had a little aquarium on my windowsill. It moved my grandmother to tears. Tatiana confesses that while living in Kerch, she was amused by tourists who collected pebbles from the beach and took them home as souvenirs. Now she asks people in Crimea to collect little stones from the seashore so she can make pendants. She says it's like a piece of her home city, close to her heart. I make crafts from regular pebbles which one might throw away. I think that they are no less precious than gems. And for us, internal displaced people from Crimea, they are even more precious. A couple of months ago, Tatiana met another woman who also left Kerch four years ago, Marina. The two women got in touch on social media and realised they both love handmade crafts. Marina is a big fan of knitting. She has several hundred knitted masterpieces in her collection. For example, this blanket. It is knitted from several elements which are then brought together. Of course, it is more complicated, but here a group of people can work on it. Marina and her new friend organized a fundraiser. They're also about to open a club where women can learn how to create handmade crafts for free. It brings beauty to life and develops fine motor skills. It helps to take your mind off things. In general, it helps psychologically. It calms me, inspires me, it's interesting. I always want to keep my hands occupied. These women have ambitious plans for the future too. They want to turn their hobby into a profitable business and sell their crafts that carry pieces of their soul.